So this is this is incredibly powerful. This is super cool. And I'm not sure how many people know about this. Once you've got analytics set up on your website, um, you can absolutely integrate that with your autoresponder. And specifically, I'm going to show you how to do that with Git response. And then once you've done that, you can look inside of analytics to see specifically which emails from which emails what people did thereafter uh, as it relates to your website. That's pretty, it's pretty awesome data to have at your disposal. And it's really easy to set up. It's just a little bit tricky to know where to find it. So let me show you how to set this up and then where to find it inside of your analytics account so you can use it to improve your marketing in the future. So how do you set it up? First off, you just go to my account, right? You go to integrations, of course, once you're logged in, you go to Google Analytics, click it, and I just have everything set up default style. So I don't have anything special done. Then you just click save and that's it. Now Google Analytics is hooked up with your autoresponder. And in order for it to work, all you got to do is whenever you send out an autoresponder or a broadcast, just make sure that you have Google Analytics clicked on. That's it. Now, figuring out where to find this info inside of Google Analytics is a little bit more tricky. So this is where this video is worth its weight in gold to you. Here's exactly where to find that. Once you're logged into your Google Analytics, what you want to do is you want to go to the section. So once you're in reporting, you want to go down to acquisition and overview. And once you're there, you can see, okay, cool. Now I've got this email um, channel so I can see that it's tracking, but how do you see specifically which email is getting you whatever traffic to wherever? Well, here's how you do it. You go to channels and then you click on the email channel right here. And this will show you what pages people got to from that channel. But if you want to see specifically what uh, email got people to your funnel, you would go here other acquisition and then add content and now the add content section here will show you which email got you how many visitors what percentage of them were new visitors or you know not new visitors and you know what they did thereafter and you can mess around with all this stuff but really the tricky part is just knowing that little part that i just showed you and with that there's lots to explore so that's it. Just wanted to show you that it's really easy to set up. So use it and um, use it to, to ask yourself better marketing questions. I wonder why they only did X or I wonder when I sent out that email, why people did way more than when I sent out that other email. That's where marketing gets really fun. And so here's a new tool at your disposal, a new way to look into your data and uh, just get better insight. So that's it. Questions, comments, let me know. And um, yeah. That's it.